Hello. I'd like to call to order the Berwick Select Board meeting of November 15th, 2022. We have uh, four members of the board. Linda is absent tonight. We have the town manager. Town clerk is on Zoom. Members of the public, uh, let us stand for the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. First, we have the approval of our meeting minutes from October 25th, 2022. Make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. I'll accept. Second it. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Or zero. Uh, next, we have our first public comment. Are either of you here for public comment? Nope. Nope. They're here for the appointment. Yep. All right. Then I well, will. Before, before you move on, yep. um, I, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you know, Patty, the town clerk, and all her crew for the election. As, uh, we haven't met since then, and uh, you know everything seems to have gone smoothly. I haven't heard of any problems. Um, as I know you people put in long hours, and... Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you were recognized and you know, thank you for your job well done. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I, I can't do I can't it without do all the help. Well, you, you've done it great, great every year so. that we've we've seen, yep. and it's you got the results quickly. Everybody's well, not yeah. everybody's happy. Yeah, look, look busy when I went happy. down, and you know, yeah, you, the, 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 the vote went smoothly. So yeah, thank you. It did. It did. Thank you. All right, so we'll close the first public comment. Uh, we have a public hearing uh, for the approval of a marijuana caregiver retail store and medical marijuana production facility uh, at 513 Portland Street, Tricam. So I can cover this one. Um, back in June 2022, uh, uh, amendment was approved to streamline the marijuana process. Just to, because we have so many that come through, um, it allows us to waive the hearing. Uh, we notify the abutters, and if nobody steps forward with any concerns, and if there's no active code violations, um, I would, at this time, recommend waiving the public hearing and approving the license for TriCan. Um, if you remember, TriCan was in, in March of 2022. Uh, what happens is they have a local authorization form that was on a different schedule. So this license will be prorated and it just lines up the two licenses. So what, what does he end up paying? $6,000? Because he's got a, a retail and he's got to grow? It's it's $5,000 now. So we, we reduced the um, medical marijuana production to 2000 mm -hmm. but all the adult use is still 3000 So his license is $5,000 total and it was prorated. So it ends up being about $1,600 off from that. Why? Why was it prorated? So his normal, it's because the license is a year. Yeah. He is renewing it four months early. Oh. So he's renewing tonight to, re to get in line with both of them State come license. March, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll so, make a motion that we uh, waive the public hearing. Second. Uh, any further discussion? I just want to make sure there is no code violations, nothing on the books. There are no no code violations, right. and there, I have not heard one complaint in the two or three years he's been open. All right, uh, all those in favor. And uh, we'll also make a motion to approve the application. Also second. All right. Which one? What was the first one? The wave the, the, the public hearing. Wave the public hearing. Yes. <laughs> do now to approve the actual <laughs> the application. application. Right. Do um, Patty? Do we need one for both the uh, um, the caregiver retail and the production? 
No, you can do them together. Okay. So, Tom has made a motion. I will second the motion for the application. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? There we go. Semantics at that point, Tom. Yes. <laughs> well, we got to be clear. <laughs> We don't no. Want to have, have no, 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 I, I already seconded it, but he did it. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> My bad. No worries. Um, no reports of committees, uh, no department reports. Uh, we do have the appointments for the planning board. We have two candidates. Um, are there two spots open? There's one spot open. Two sp one spot open, two candidates. Um, let's hear from them. First, we have Jim Ducharm. I just make a note that um, I believe we'll have some possible seats open in December. So December. whoever doesn't get it, just wait a few weeks. And <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, my name is Jim Ducharme. Uh, my wife and I have been living in Berwick uh, now for the last two and a half years. We built the log home down on 236 um, with some wonderful landscaping by Mr. Pendergrass's organization. Thank you. Um, I heard about the uh, the planning board opening uh, from a, my son forwarded to me because he knows I like to give back to the community. Uh, my family, uh, I raised my family in Summersworth for the last 20 some odd years where I ran Summersworth Little League and Summersworth Babe Ruth uh, for a number of years to sort of get those back in good financial shape. Uh, look, my, my goal is is wherever I live, I just want to give back to the community and make it a better place for, for my family uh, and for everybody in town. Uh, the land we live on today has been in the uh, in, in our family since the mid 1800s under the uh, Proventure uh, family, and we're proud to keep keep that going on. Uh, I'm glad to see that we've got a couple folks here. I, I just want an opportunity to to be involved in the in the local town. If that's now, great. If it's December, great. If it's another capacity, great. Um, that's what we're looking to do. So uh, happy to answer any questions or uh, uh, get your feedback. On a professional level, just so you know, I, I am a chief operating officer of a company called uh, Outseer. We do uh, online fraud prevention. Uh, so whenever you use your credit card online, it goes through us to see if it's fraud, that sort of thing. So I uh, run an organ a worldwide organization. About, uh, we have about 400 employees, 150 under my direct responsibility. Uh, so I run large teams, dealt with a lot of lawyers and dealt with a lot of rules So um, uh, and, and built a house uh, here. So. Uh, know what it's like going in front of the planning board and, and uh, Jen McCabe getting us all approved. So uh, so happy to see what uh, what I can give back to the town. Thank you. Um, we we yeah. want to stay right up there. Yeah. Uh, are there any questions for Jim? Well, no? It, it, so it is, I, I just want to know, thank you for stepping forward. No, is, um, yeah. is, uh, we're, we're always looking to have you know, new people step forward and, and uh, join our community team here um, is you know other than being in front of the planning board is are you familiar familiar with the planning codes and things like that at all uh, I, I have spent uh, way too much time in the land use ordinance so I, I also own 48 acres across the street uh, from our house as well um, in Summersworth I spent a lot of time I own real estate there um, so I'm certainly not enforcing it, but uh, I am very familiar with leading, reading and, and understanding the, uh, the very robust land use ordinance uh, and understand the responsibility of the planning board and ensuring the appropriate use against the land use ordinance and dealing with variance against that. So um, I'll say familiarity. Uh, don't live and breathe it every day. Good, good. That's not necessary. <laughs> you know, one of the things we try to do is get a diverse, you know, group of people on the planning board. You know, right. To, is we like to have, you know, so that a little bit of everybody can contribute. So it's, it's good that we have that. Um, and you know, one of the things we also like to ask people that join the boards is, um, you know. You have to be willing to let your own personal feelings go by and enforce what's on our ordinances. Correct. So. Yeah, yeah. And sorry, just to address that, I mean, uh, I I well understand the position isn't to uh, help make the town look like what I want to make it look like. It really is about making sure that when when things are put in front of the planning board, that they are appropriate for uh, against the land use ordinance as they are. 
or we follow due process for variance or exceptions to that. Um, you know, I also think, uh, you know, the planning board has a responsibility to come back to the town to understand where there may be potential enhancements to that. However, that shouldn't change the... Uh, well, that, that's why, you know, is, uh, mo most every year, is uh, this, this fall was a unusual and we didn't have any changes to the ordinance, any tweaks or anything. But, you know, we, they, they're constantly working with the town planner and, and people to, you know, look for ways to improve it. So, you know, there's generally, almost every year, there's a chance to, you know, amend the ordinances and things. So as attitudes change, as needs change, you no, know, the ordinance can change. So. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and to your point of a diversity, completely agree with that. And, you know, my, uh, you know, m my background would be as, as, as a landowner, as a homeowner, as somebody involved in developing the community, um, you know, if, if there are other folks with different backgrounds on that board, if I can add that diversity to the planning board, great. If there's somebody that looks just like me from a, you know, what role I would play in that board, pick somebody else, right? That That's that's what I would I would be I would welcome thank you yeah. thank, thank you. you good appreciate Thanks. it next we have Cameron Haldick 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 uh, good evening uh, Cameron Haldick uh, I live on 58 Knox Lane uh, I've lived in Berwick my whole life uh, my great-grandparents grew up in Berwick uh, they've lived there their whole lives um, I'm now raising my son here, uh, so the reason why I wanted to join the planning board was to just kind of give back and kind of set up a, hopefully help the town set up a good future for him to live his whole life here. Um, I uh, work at the shipyard, been there for eight years, I'm a supervisor down there. Uh, I work in planning and management meetings constantly every day. Uh, that's you know, my job, managing crews, running crews, um, and then also coming up with strategic plans uh, to make sure that they can execute their jobs properly uh, and also with uh, accordance with process instructions and uh, technical work documents right um, so that's most of my day um, uh, my grandmother worked here at the town hall uh, and my great-grandfather worked very closely with building and helping with, with all town stuff uh, you guys have any questions for me if you don't mind asking, it, it, I've lived here all my life. It, it, who, who are your grandparents? <laughs> uh, Babe Plant. Oh, yeah. 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 My yep. great grandfather. Right. Uh, Janet. Janet uh, worked was, yeah, yep. well, for yep. decades. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, so. Yeah, I, you know, I, I bought a piece of property off of them on, on Knox Lane. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, like Jim, I built a house down here uh, on 13 acres here in, in Knox Lane. So, plan on course. staying there for a little bit. <laughs> yep. Do you have any specific skills or knowledge of planning or, or city planning or land use so, ordinance? Uh, so I actually have the land use ordinance sitting on my kitchen table right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Interesting I, reading, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so to be honest with you, uh, other than uh, working every day with process instructions, which is much written, uh, kind of like what the land use ordinance is, uh, understanding that, working our way through it, uh, and doing our work, uh, to what our process instructions do at the shipyard uh, matches a lot with you guys do here with the land ordinances and, and following those and uh, if need to make the town better a place making changes to those process instructions to, to get those things done uh, to help the future and uh, the well-being of everybody here. Uh, I've never sat in on a, on a planning board so I can't say that I've had direct uh, correlation to that but uh, like I said as, as far as day-to-day -day stuff fairly similar. The, um, the the planning board is it's so different than anything else in the town. Really, it's like like we make we have the, the I, I think the select board meetings are you know slightly more important. You know they cover more things, but more people show up to planning board meetings. The planning board meetings go longer. They have site walks and things like that that they go on. Um, so it's slightly more in labor intensive and. For some reason, more involves the public. You know, the public comes to them directly with complaints and issues, and you know, not every, my back. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, everybody's who's building something, and then all their neighbors tend to show up to some things, and 
They're not always particularly kind, polite, you know, uh, usually civil, but not always kind and polite. But um, do you think you would fare well if you had some, you know, irate landowners that you had to tell no to, you uh, know? Uh, again, uh, I hate going back to it, but uh, that's kind of what I do every day, right? Yeah. Uh, I have to direct work every day. Uh, well, plan and direct work every day. Uh, I have usually anywhere of a crew of 10 people underneath me, uh, day-to-day ops, uh, as well as working with other teams uh, throughout the shipyard. Uh, and I'll tell you, by no means does everyone always agree on what we're doing. So, uh, yes, mediating uh, and discussing and coming up with a, a feasible plan uh, is, is something I do day in and day out. Uh, comes pretty easy with me. Uh, I mean, to get all my people working together, I hold a weekly meeting with just my immediate crew uh, and discuss uh, things that we did well during the week, things we need to improve on during the week, uh, and then get feedback uh, on, on how we would do things together as a group, uh, just, just so everyone understands where we're coming from so we don't have some of those issues. Uh, but, again, not everyone always agrees. Yeah. I think it's great that we got two great was, candidates. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just a breath of fresh air. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions? No. No, no questions directly to Ken. You know, I mean, really just the second one was kind of set up here to, to both of you. Um, thank you. You know, that's it's nice being on this side of it and seeing. It seems like the more growth we have, we're actually seeing more get involved and, and more people coming up and, you know, Tom, Tom always says, you know, it's a thankless job almost in town because this is Noah alluded to, you know, sometimes it's not necessarily pleasant being on this side, having to talk to somebody, um, but you still have to have that information. And the other thing that, you know, Tom kind of really alluded to, that's the one thing that I always try to remind anybody who, who joins planning or, or any other board is, um, yeah, we really need to keep our own personal bias out of it, you know, and whether... You know, it's growth or business or solar farms or medical marijuana. We just saw that, you know, what, what we just passed. It's, it doesn't matter how we feel about it. It's what the town put in place and what the town voted on and what the LUO actually stands for. And, and that's what we need to be here to support. So to see two people actually understand that and come before and want to give up their time is, is really something great to see. So I just wanted to say thank you to both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, in my view, we have two perfectly qualified candidates. Um, so I will entertain a motion from any on the bottom of the board who has a strong feeling one way or the other. Well, that it is usually when we have multiple people for one job, is I like to ask is who submitted the name first? Do you have that? <laughs> well, is, it, is, there, is there an opening though in December? Well, we, we're hearing this. It could be. <laughs> there so, are grumbles. Yeah, so we can't, we can't preemptively, <laughs> unfortunately. No. Is, um, Cameron must first. Yeah. Yeah. Is, um, um, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. I, I mean, you know, I, I'm thrilled to see two candidates as well. I mean, I, I have no problem letting, if you guys find us both acceptable, give Cameron this one. I, I have, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I wanted the select board to understand who I was, my involvement in the community. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, if it's December, if it's January, if it's a different position, that's my goal. Um, I, I don't need a trophy. I, I just want to help and give back. Maybe some select board openings next year. <laughs> What's that? There may be some select board openings next year. I'm, I am open for that as well. There's um, definitely going to be one. <laughs> you know what? Both, both Mark and I are up this next term. Around. <laughs> and we're, we'll both have finished up nine years sitting at that here. So. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you know, I'll be honest with you, that, that would be interesting as well. I, um, hey, well, just so you know, it is you can serve <laughs> the planning board and make a decision later. So there's no. Yeah, there's, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. uh, like I said, I, you know, that's what I'm here for. So, if you know, I, I, I think Cameron is a very viable candidate from my perspective. That, not that matters, but I'm happy to, to let him have this. And if there's opportunities in the future, call me. You know, and I'm, I'm I'm glad to see that you know two people with connect long term connections yeah. to Berwick, yeah. you know, 
are involved. No, it's good to have newer folks also. Yeah. But and, uh, you and know, it's always good. To, right. I know you guys right. say yeah. there's no bias, right? But but in your mind, if, if they got a better way of doing it, looking outside the box, we right. don't hear about it, even though it's not in the oh, book. Oh, absolutely, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You know I mean, to me, that's right. critical. I don't always agree with what goes on. <laughs> No. Um, nothing it, wrong with that. The only other is this for a full term, or is this to fill out Dave's term? Um, I would do it for a full three, three year term because I believe Dave's term will be ending December twenty twenty two, anyways. So it just next year. So it's an extra yeah. three weeks at yeah, this I, point. Yeah. You know, <laughs> two weeks if you're really, it's the beginning of December. <laughs> um, I'll make a motion that we uh, appoint Cameron Haladic. To the planning board for a three year term. For a three year term. Uh, I will second that. Three years and change. Yeah. <laughs> three years. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? I throw that one. And again, I want to thank you both. Is, yeah. uh, is, is, no, it, it's one of the best parts of our job, I think, is oh, yeah. a, yes. no, interviewing is the people and appointing yeah. them to the boards and commissions yeah, and things. Yeah, definitely, no. it's the best part of it. So. And, and frankly, it's always. Yeah. It, 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 it's kind of a bummer when there's multiple people for only one position, but it's also very awesome. happy that there's multiple yes. people for one <laughs> position. Because sometimes there's one person for a position and they're not really fully qualified, but nobody else is beating down the door. And, you know, it's, it's better to have too many candidates than not enough, you know. So um, thank you both. Really appreciate it. And we'll definitely let you know if anything opens up shortly. Yeah, we'll make sure yes, you're absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We won't lose your number. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have no unfinished business. We have the town manager's report. As you can see outside, the area where the underground tank uh, is planned to be placed has water in it, and that needs to go before the tank can be installed. Depending on how the water tests, it may need, need to go to special waste, which is very expensive. If it is treatable, the sewer plant is amenable to it going to the sewer plant, which could cut the cost. We will likely need to rent a special tank and have it hauled. Um, the cost, at worst case scenario, could be an additional $43,000. $43,000? $43,000. That's worst case scenario. If the tests come back good, it will be less expensive, but still expensive in the range of I don't have an exact cost. We're still working on the options, but probably in the twenty thousand dollar. What about dumping it right to instead of hauling off the sewer plant? We, we talked about that this afternoon about pumping it into a uh, sewer main. Sewer I'll, basin. I will look into that. See if that's the forty three thousand dollars and all that over there. So that would be no. That was if it's special waste, right? Right. That would be if it's hauled or outside, somewhere else and disposed. Yep. Yeah. If it, I mean, if it's not. You know, contaminated, or it's just not nothing wrong with it. And I mean, a sump pump. You know, renting a sump pump, pumping it into the sewers is you know as good as as cheap as it could get. It yeah. sounds like it's either the manhole, or it might have to be pumped into a tank, and then the tank goes to a waste hauler, and the hauler brings it to the sewer plant. So, Rick from Portland Pump Company was talking with DEP. I'll follow up with them tomorrow. DEP was open to. Allowing that, I've also reached out to um, an environmental engineer just for a second opinion to see what else our, our options are. But I just wanted, I, I, if you want to do some um, authorization to move forward out of contingency, maybe up to twenty thousand dollars or a lesser amount. Of, it's, it's up to you guys what you're comfortable with. But I just to so have a massive hole in the ground. I just think we're kind of it'd be nice to. How many gallon tank is going back in? I was it five hundred gallon? What came out was five hundred, right? I think so. I think it's yeah. a thousand. Was it a thousand? Yeah, you may we, be right. Let me get back to you on that. <clears throat> so yeah, a thousand gallons back in. Well, we're supposed to meet again in seven days. Correct. So, um, I think we can just probably wait and see what the actual result is. I mean, that'd be my opinion, unless somebody has to feel strong. Well, do we? Uh, how soon would we need contingency money? I think it'd be nice to ha have it, be able to authorize it. I think we just cut the wait time a week. Well, in other yeah. case, they suggest we do. We, the yeah. 20000 for now? 
Yeah, if it's any, if it's any more, if it's any more, then we need to. Well, they're billionaire anyway. It's not like you know what I mean. They're, yeah, well, they'll have that cash on the barrel. Can't yeah. <laughs> he can't approve the bill unless we're willing to pay it, though. Right. right. Yeah. So uh, put a lien on the town hall. Is <laughs> um, um, I'll make I'll make a motion that we uh, reserve twenty thousand dollars out of our contingency for uh, dealing with the uh, water in the hole for the new oil tank. I'll second that. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? All right, so that's just in, that's just, uh, you're supposed to get the test one out today, or is it coming back tonight or tomorrow? It's going to be tested hopefully tomorrow. I don't okay. have a timeline on when it will be tested. You just, I don't even know. I don't. We're going to get a inch of rain tonight. Yeah, right. <laughs> and snow. What, what, um, is it like a double wall tank going there? Is it a fiberglass tank? It's a, uh, Double wall steel fiberglass, I believe. Yeah, I believe. Double wall fiberglass. Let me make a note. I can um, send you the specs on it. Thank you. Uh, final update on the fire station: uh, the final purchase price was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. With commission, the amount to the town is three hundred twenty thousand six hundred ninety-two. The board voted to utilize um, fire department capital reserve in the amount of one hundred and sixty-seven thousand eight hundred and fifty-five fifty-five cents on May twenty-fifth. With the stipulation, we pay that back with this amount. So that leaves the remaining one hundred and sixty-one thousand six hundred six and forty-five cents that will go to the next available bond payment. The whole amount. Yep. Yeah, that 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 that's what we talked about way process. back. Yeah, right. yeah. three yeah. years ago yeah. when we started this process. <laughs> well, that's a good size payment on it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah it, it, I think I think Steve had said it equivalent to one year yeah. you know, of yeah, the bond so payment. So, is uh, only twenty nine years to go. <laughs> I've been doing a little research on a uh, solar powered uh, movable message sign. In the range of twenty thousand dollars, the sign we're looking at, you can see it from a sizable distance. It also pulls speed data. I know police has been interested in, in purchasing one for a while. I've been in discussions with Chief Talent about a grant. We're looking at throwing our hat in with SMPDC towns for a more competitive grant. That grant cycles in spring of twenty twenty three. Uh, I didn't know if the board wanted me to continue looking for something to fund this fiscal year. It might be difficult to find the funding, um, but oh, I'm yeah. happy to find it if that's something we want. We're coming to. up on budget season. How much was it to rent one for the year? Did you find that out? I did not. Find, find that out, James. Yeah. So we, if, I thought we were going to try two. Yeah, we could. Yeah, well, we 20, could. 20 grand for one. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're we're not looking at two. No, I, yeah. <laughs> if, make a call to I got some yeah, friends we can, in water for them. I'll see what the. If, yeah. we, if we need it, we can rent it in the in the interim, in, in, yeah. interim time, yeah. work on the grant. If we get the grant, then we can use that money to buy it. If we don't, we can put it into the budget for next year. Right. We'll know by the time we're doing the budget process if we're going to get it or not. Yeah. So. I agree. Anything else? That sounds good. We got a few more things. Okay. Pilot testing for the water plant is well underway. Jody has done a, a fantastic job. Uh, it's been an, a lot of coordinating to keep uh, keep the project on track and on time. So again, pilot testing is well underway. They've tested one of the chemicals in the system. They're working on the second one and a few different methods in the process. They will be developing a report through the month of December, and we expect to have those results back in, in January. So again, that's the... So as, so as we're talking about the water, now Jim's from Summersworth, right? <laughs> I'm sure he knows people in Summersworth. We took, when they replaced the bridge, they took out the, the water main that came across, yep. and then we, you know, we wanted to put it back in, but the, you know, Summersworth didn't want to do that. Yep. Now we have, we have an issue. They, they've agreed to let us put a connection in, because of our water issues we're having, yep. and um, I, James would know how that's going, but I think if yeah, anyone, I mean, very political poll. Might help. <laughs> <laughs> you want, you hey, any help? Any help? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Not, not to name 
name names, but the but my neighbor was the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in Berwick. <laughs> no, in Summers. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. If you go back to the minutes, there's a few discussions that happened at the time, and it was the select board that determined to. No, no, they wouldn't. I was here. Mike and I, Tom and I were here. Hey, if you go back through the minutes, there's an initial report from Patrick that says something about the council. And then there's discussions for like five or six months that go on. And they and eventually, no. it was the select board that voted to. This select deny. board? Well, it. I think we voted no because of the cost they wanted. Yeah, like it was like a high, they it was, like a, yeah. a absurd price for the water or something well, like that. Well, for the connection well, coming underneath the railroad track. Well, that plus the price of the water. Yeah. That's what it was, the price of the water. But you know, we should have done it anyway and got yeah. it in and we could have discussed the later. price anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. I forgot about that. But the price of the water. They're open to, uh, I mean, we have the groundwork for an emergency interconnection and we're still going to be working on designing a formal connection. It's going to be expensive, but it'd be a good candidate for a grant. And also, I also want to recognize Patty and everyone who worked at the election. Elections are some of my favorite days of the year. <laughs> Seeing everybody out, um, democracy is alive and well with over 3,000 votes. So congrats to everybody and thank you for participating. I also want to recognize the Rec Department, uh, Rec Commission, and Shannon for a smashing success with Trunk and Treat. And I know they're, they've been well ahead of schedule on the holiday parade, so I'm looking forward to that. So everyone's doing a great job. You looking for a Christmas tree now? We got one this year. You already got one? Yeah. Oh. Shannon did. And one for next year, too. I got a bunch. I got to get them cut down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have multiple Christmas trees. How's that? <laughs> So Completes <laughs> my report. All right. Yeah, you could have one. Yeah. All right. We have no selectman communications. Should be select board communications. Mm -hmm. um, Is that they, an official uh, motion to the agenda? <laughs> no, no, no. We, we, are, we already are the select board. I'm saying that in the in the in the, in the uh, itinerary, it should be select, select board, board communications. communications, not select men communications. Nice. No, I don't think there needs to be a vote on that. <laughs> All right, we have the approval of the accounts payable. Thirty twenty-nine. All right, we have a payroll warrant number twenty-nine from November third, twenty twenty-two, in the amount of eighty-two thousand four hundred seventeen dollars and twenty-six cents. We have payroll warrant number thirty from. Um, November 10th, 2022, in the amount of $68,413.96. And we have an accounts payable warrant, number 31, from November 15th, in the amount of $1,110,131.31. I make the motion that we pay our bills. Second. And all those in favor? All right, time keeps moving. Uh, we have no new business, no quick claim deeds, no abatements. Any second second public comment? Nope. All right. Um, we do have an executive session for a discussion of labor contracts. We will be going into that executive discussion. Uh, executive session. We will not be coming out. No decisions will be made. No votes. Um, so. Any other business and non-agenda items? Yeah, just um, real quick with kind of what happened with this morning in the schools. Um, I think for anyone that was a parent or a grandparent or sitting up here, we, we obviously know it was a scary moment. Um, thankfully, it, it was a hoax um, for what's going on. But from who I've talked to today and, and people that were kind of involved and, and around with um, first response, and I, I really wanted to say... Uh, talk to Linda to tell her to pass that along, but I know your community emergency management, um, local rescue teams, law enforcement, from what I heard, everybody responded um, magnificently in case it was something that could have been more serious. Um, and I think that's a huge, huge, huge testament to what, you know, what things are being put in place to actually hopefully prevent anything from like that from happening. Um, 
MSAT 60 with sending out communication and, and what that looks like for parents or, or children to, to just reach out for help. Um, if any of the parents haven't seen that, there is communication and links there for them to reach out to. And I, I just want to say for something that was, while not real, was very real to many people. And I, I think that's um, uh, just a huge thank you to, to the people involved to, to make sure that it, yeah. we are set up for something that could be. You know, can they? That was on a burner phone. Can they crack a burner like phone? Nope. You well, can't. actually, what I you had read that there's uh, you can't back there's stuff coming I'm out that it's coming from overseas right. that that people from other countries are doing shenanigans with computers. Yeah, there are, there are at least ten mm -hmm. different calls to different schools in yeah. Maine today. And they and the FBI said something like a hundred over the past six months or something like that yeah. all across the country. Yeah. So. Yeah. But luckily, it was yep. not something that was real, and I 100% agree. The police did an amazing job. There was quick response. And, oh, yeah, real quick response. Yeah. Um, and going back to the election, yeah, we did have a great turnout in this midterm, 3,000 yeah, plus. Um, I really hope that the people come back for if there's a vote in January, if there's a vote next June. There'll, be, there'll definitely be a vote next June, you know, because <laughs> the psych board members and the budget and all those things, like for some of those, you know, off-brand votes, we end up with as few as three to 600 votes, you know. So just vote every time like it's this, and it's like it's a presidential, and your voice will be heard. It'll be, it'll be magnified, so... Um, and just to clarify, there is no January election. Yes, no January. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Betty. Okay. Yeah. That we know of yet. <laughs> no, it's too late. No, it's, it's, it's true. I don't know. I don't know where my brain is. I, some, I sometimes forget that it's like, oh yeah, it's going to be December in a month, and then it'll be. Uh, we're already hitting on 2023. Yeah. My brain's still in 2019 when things are good and happy. And, no. Um, Yes, but uh, so before no. you were selected, no, no, no. that was that was a long time ago. I was there three thousand years ago. Um, all right, then I will make the motion that we enter executive session under Title One Four Hundred Five Six D for the discussions of labor contracts. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Thank you very much.